please don't hang up on me, Mr. Scan. Internal Revenue Service Investigation Department, how can I help you? I got a message, I called his number, about serious allegations I'm, in a lawsuit. I'm sorry? About serious allegations in a lawsuit, four serious allegations, they said. Well, what are you talking about, sir? I don't get you. Okay, maybe they didn't, they must have called the wrong number then, I don't know. I'm sorry? Is this the IRS? Yes, you have reached 1111 Constitution Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. with the zip code 20224. This is where the headquarters of the IRS is, sir. And what? you are talking to Agent Robert Mason with a federal ID number, IGV8502. 70 is in Tango 31. Oh, okay. So well, can you please I got a message, me a call. What exactly and I'm is going on? I, pardon me? Can you please tell me exactly what is going on, sir? I do not How know. I, I got a you? message to call this number, and that's what I'm doing. Okay. When did you receive that message? Probably did you an hour it from ago. Our department? Pardon me? Did you receive it from our department? Well, yeah. This is the number they told me to call. Okay, all right, then can you please be a little specific regarding that call that you got, sir? I don't know how much more specific I can be. They said four allegations and the call immediately as soon as I got the message, so I did. I mean, if it's not that important to you, it's not that important to me, I guess. Okay, let me look it up for my system, and to do that, can you please at least help me out with the case ID number that you got along from the phone call there, so that I can pull up the file from my system, sir? No, nope, there was no case number. They just said to call this number. That's what I'm doing. All right, then. Since you do not have any kind of case ID number with you, can you at least help me out with your tax ID number? My tax ID number is 416-370-419. Four one six three seven zero four one nine. Okay, and may I know who am I talking to? First name is Don Vito. D O N V I T O. D O N V I T O. Don Vito. Don Vito. Right. And your last name, sir? Corleone. C O R L E O N E. Vito Corleone. Sorry? Corleone. C O R L E O N E. Corleone, right? Right, Vito Corleone. Okay, do you have a middle name, sir? No. Just hold on the line for a moment. Let me try to match up your content here. And yes, can you please help me out with your current mailing address, sir? 960 Bedford Street. Bedford, nine six zero. Bedford Street. Edward or Bedford. Bedford, Bedford. Bedford. Right. Bedford Street. And then, sir. Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham. Yes. Alabama. And yes. zip code, please. Three five two zero three. Three five two zero three. Correct. Did I got it right? Nine sixty Bedford Street, Birmingham, Alabama. Three five two zero three. That's it. Did I got it correct, sir? Yes. Okay. So kindly hold the line for a moment. Let me try to pull up your file with the information that you have provided me. All right. Okay. Let me match it up with my system. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Corleone, I got your file here, I think. And yes, it looks like you got a problem here. Uh-oh. Can you please... Yes, hello, can you please come closer to your microphone? Yes, hello. On your cell phone. Are you I'm, talking I'm, to me on your cell phone or your yeah, home phone? Yeah, it's my cell phone. Okay. And yes, there is a lawsuit which has been filed by the Internal Revenue Headquarters here under your name. 
Could you thunder attack fraud case? Are you aware about the situation, sir? No, are you sure it's me, Don Vito Corleone? Yes, Don Vito Corleone. Oh. When was the last time that you filed your taxes, sir, may I know? Last year. Okay. And do you have a pen and a paper with you? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I got one. Go ahead. Okay, first of all, please note down your case ID number. Okay. It's IR4591-1. W A nine six. Have you got it? Yeah, I got it. Can you please repeat it to me? I need to make sure that you got it correct. I R four five nine one W A nine six. Exactly. That case ID number which I just gave you is in regard to the lawsuit and the tax evasion case and the arrest warrant as well, which is not yet fully activated, okay, which has been issued by the Internal Revenue Headquarters here under your name under Tax Evasion Case Internal Revenue Code 6331H. Now, Mr. Carleon, do you have any idea what is the reason behind all this? Well, no, I do my Are taxes aware every about year. I, I, my son Fredo does them. And I'm sorry? My son Fredo does them. And uh, I just give him the paperwork. I don't know. Can you please repeat? I said my son does them. Okay. Fredo, but I don't know. He's, I should have had Sonny do them. Not her son. All right. I don't know. Okay. okay. Is your son some kind of like a CPA? Fredo? No, no, no. Well, was a little slow, but he's good with numbers. And Michael was busy. All right. My, uh... All right. And yes, I'll be explaining to you each and everything about this case, sir, all right? All right. And before I go any further with all the information that you need, I'm going to have to notify you that this entire conversation this entire phone conversation is being federally monitored and recorded by the Internal Revenue Headquarters, the local authorities, and the Homeland Security. So whatever you say, Homeland or what Security. Live recorded line, sir. I'm sorry. What does Homeland Security have to do with it, sir? This is some kind of a serious problem. All right. Well, I know it's a serious it's problem, but home, Homeland Security, you should be worrying about the borders, not about my taxes. I'm sorry? Nothing. Go ahead. Are you trying to say that you are trying to tell me how to do our job here, sir? No, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to do anything. Okay, then. I'm... All right. And, yes, this live recorded line will be served in the courthouse as an evidence in your favor or against you, all right, to prove yourself if you're innocent or not. Well, I got I'm Tom Hagen can go with me to the courthouse. I'm sorry? Tom Hagen can go with me to the courthouse. That's no big deal. Who's Tom Hagen? Tom Hagen's like a stepson to me. I, like, kind okay. of adopted him. All right, then. And, yes. While I'm providing you the information, do not interrupt me in the middle again. Listen to me very carefully, and well, you will get your fair chance to speak when I'm done. Okay. Well, Tessio okay. can drive us. Come again? Not that I said Tessio can drive us, me and Tom Hagen, if we got to go somewhere, but I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I was taking this matter seriously, sir, or you can simply hang up the line stop wasting my time here. I I am taking it seriously. Then don't interrupt me in the middle. I didn't. And yes, let me go straight ahead to the subject about your case file here. The reason that you are being filed with a lawsuit by the Internal Revenue is because as per the audit report that I got here along with your tax evasion case file, on your annual tax files between the year 2012 to the year 2017. 2017? I haven't Report even done on that. these last five years. I'm sorry? I said I, 17. I haven't even done them yet. 
What do you mean that you haven't done it yet, sir? Did, did you file for your taxes? Not for 2017, I haven't. For 2017, you haven't, right? No. So just, okay, so just hold on. Listen to me. All right. All right. And the re-audit report for these five years, okay? After the end, then the re-audit as per, which is, I mean, which is based on the re-audit, which is based on the IRS re-audit policy established in the year 2006 to re-scrutinize and re-audit every U.S. citizen's tax filed after every five years. They came across and detected some serious miscalculations, met errors in your annual tax files, which resulted a discrepancy in the amount of $7,530, which means that the amount that you have been filing as your taxes in between these five years is in fact less than the amount that you were supposed to file and pay for. That is less by $7,530. This is the main reason why you are being filed with a lawsuit and due to this reason, sir, you are being found breaching three important laws of the United States Constitution. Number one is violation of the Federal Tax Regulation Act. Number two, violation of Internal Revenue Code 6331H. And number three is tax evasion slash theft by deception. How can you say it's deception? Okay. I'm sorry? How can you say it's deception? I, I, I don't know. Because you provided misrepresentation to the government agency, sir. That no, is why. I didn't. No. This is what we just stated under the Internal Revenue Code 63318. Right? And okay. also on the 7th and the 15th of November 2017, there were two sets of documentation forwarded to your mailing address. The CP11 on the 4th, I mean on the 17th, I mean on the 7th of November 2017. <laughs> The CP11, which explains about the miscalculations and the math errors found in your annual tax files in the five years. And the other one on the 15th of November is the CP2000, demanding the outstanding amount that you owe to the government. I never got any letters. Well. I never got any letters. Yes, you did not get any letters. It all, but it says here on this specific date, there was no one at your doorstep to sign to these papers. That is why the mail guy only left you with a notification slip for you to go and collect your paperwork from your postal service. I never got a itself. slip to go get it. I'm sorry? I never got any slip to go pick up mail. Is there anything wrong with your mailing address or your mailing box? No. Have you ever, have you ever had any problem with getting, I mean, receiving your mails before? No, no, I always get my mail. Okay. And due to this reason, sir, might be there some kind of problem with your postal service office? That is not our job, all right? Yeah. Your paperwork, since you did not go and collect them from your PO, your paperwork bounced back to the headquarters here. And at this point in time, the Internal Revenue has already forwarded your paperwork to the courthouse as an evidence for the IRS regarding your case and now stuck inside the courthouse under investigation. And yes, the CP2000, which was sent to you on the 15th, also states, I mean, demands the outstanding amount that you owe to the government and the IRS, and also states about your last due date of your case file, which is today itself. That is why, sir, the main reason behind this call today on this last due date of your case file is to know what is your clear intention regarding this case here, all right? And now I'd like to ask you a few sets of questions which I need honest answers and in simple yes or no. Is that okay with you? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I'm sorry? Go ahead. You having a hard time hearing me or something? I can hear you, sir. Don't worry. Okay. Well, you yes, can, the first I got to keep is, on repeating stuff. Okay. The first question is, have you ever been convicted in any crime or arrested by any sheriff department before? Yes. And when was that? That was a while ago. It was a bootlegging. But I... Okay, uh, the next question uh, is, it was have kind you of ever like, been... Well, it was kind of like bootlegging, but really I'm in the olive oil business. 
You all right? And yeah, the next question is, have you ever been issued any tickets for traffic violations, such as for speeding, parking, DUI, DWI? No, I got no. Nah, I, I can get out of tickets. No problem. Okay, the next question is, have you ever filed for bankruptcy or foreclosure in the past? No. The next question is, is there any pending judgment against you from the courthouse apart from this one? No. And the last question is, Mr. Carleon, have you ever been investigated by the Internal Revenue Service before or have you ever been had any problem with the IRS before or with any federal agency? Well, federal agency, yeah, agency. but not the IRS. Okay. But not the IRS, right? I can no. see here too. No, no, no. And yes. The IRS, yes. The IRS too has gone through your records and we found that you have been a genuine taxpayer. All right, always face your taxes in time. The only problem is that there are miscalculations in your tax files. Seems maybe your son did it for you, you said. Afraid right, of. The next time you file your yes. The next time you file your taxes, you're going to have to hire yourself a CPA or go to H&R Block, right? Well, maybe Clemenza, are Clemenza can do them. He's, a, he's sort of a, an accountant. Okay. Not Frank, though. And, not, not Pantangeli. He's kind of a rat. Yes. Okay. And yes, also there is a red flag in the identity. And since there is a red flag in the identity, right? Why is there a red flag in the identity? It's because you are being pressed charged with three allegations that I've told you before. And since there's a red flag in the identity, sir, all your mailing services will be blocked. You can't today, block my mail. You can't today. block my mail. Yes, we federal government can do No, it, you can't block the mail. Okay. And yes. The main reason behind this call today is to know what is your intention regarding this case here. Would you like to have this case resolved with the Internal Revenue Service by verifying the outstanding amount of the U.S. Treasury so that our senior investigation officer will be able in helping you cancel your warrant forcefully from the courthouse, all right, then clear out all the three allegations press charged into your name, remove the red flag which is under your identity. Well, I gotta and get that red, red flag, flag off. I gotta get that red flag off. I I know that. So what have I got to do? Yes. And after the red flag is removed from your identity, okay, our senior investigation officer will be able in pulling back your paperwork from the courthouse, and he will be making an arrangement or an appointment with an agent from the IRS itself, and he will be coming along with those documentations again to your doorstep. And he will be the better person to explain your life, where exactly the miscalculations were found, why are they made, and what to do next after you have received the paperwork. Okay, Mr. Corleone? Okay. Or would you rather, right, you also have another option. Uh, would you rather have this case resolved inside the courthouse after being arrested and being behind bars for the next three days with an unavailable warrant, right, then hire yourself a criminal attorney? and fight this case against the internal revenue inside well, the Why would I want to go to jail? Case. Okay. If you do not want that to happen, sir, you're going to have to cooperate with the internal revenue today, all right, by verifying yeah. the outstanding payment. And, yes, he'll be able in helping you with the cancellation of your arrest warrant and remove the red flag from your identity. Okay. All the allegations press charge into your name. Okay. 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 So I believe that you are in understanding that you have, understand me, I mean like, you got me, what do you have to do in order to cancel your warrant from the courthouse forcefully? Yeah, yeah, I got to pay the money, yeah. So may I know, sir, do you have the sufficient funds of $7,530 to verify to U.S. Treasury today? Of course I do. I told you I'm in the olive oil business, yes. Okay, sir. So just hold on the line for a moment. Let me connect this call because I am not authorized to give you any payment options, all right? Okay. Because since your red, I mean your name is under red flag, your identity is under red flag, all your direct payment options, like sending us a check 
or wiring it through your bank or sending it direct cash or all those kind of payment options are being closed because it will be considered as money laundering. Money right? laundering? They're going to have to follow. Who said something you're about money laundering? Yes, money laundering? You're going to have to you're going to have to follow some standard legal guidelines which will be provided to you from the courthouse right by our senior invest through our senior investigation officer right which is the OOCR guidelines out of court resolution guidelines okay okay so i'm going to have to connect this call to one of our senior investigation officer and he will be helping you further all right good okay Okay, can we be on the line, sir, for a moment? Let me connect this call to our senior investigation officer's department. Okay? okay. Thank you. For your cooperation. Okay. Hi there. Thank you for staying online. Your call has been transferred to Chief Investigation Officer Sam Hoffman. How are you doing today? Okay, good. I believe I'm having a word with Mr. Corleone. San Vito Corleone. Yeah, Mr. Corleone, I believe you're pretty much aware of the case complication you're having with the IRS, sir. Yep, you said I owe $7,530. Exactly. I'm afraid do you of have my taxes. Uh, what? Yep. Big, uh, what? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's right, sir. Well, my question to you right now is, do you have any intention to resolve this case outside the courthouse, or do you want to drag this case in the courthouse, sir? No, I'm I'm going to pay it, then I'm going to fight it. I got to get the red flag off my name, so what I'll do is I'll pay exactly. it, and then I'll fight it, and I'll get my money so back. So you mean because I don't think I owe this much. Wanna, I don't get it, sir. I mean, what do you want to do? Do you want to take care of this matter by clearing the pending amount on your name, or do you want to? drag this case in the courthouse with a criminal lawyer. I don't want to go to the courthouse with a criminal lawyer. I'm going to pay it, but then I'm going to fight it. All right. So first of all, you want to pay the amount, then you want to fight this case in the courthouse. Yes, because I got to get the red flag off my name. Well, I can help you with that, sir. Okay. If you resolve this case, I can tell the attorney's department that you have the intention to, you know, resolve this case outside the courthouse, and probably we can help you remove the red flag from your identity. That's what all I right? need. Yeah. Well, uh, in order to resolve this case, first of all, my question to you would be, do you have sufficient funds of 5000 sorry, $7,530, sir, which you owe to the government? Yeah, in the bank. You have it in your bank. All right, sir, uh, may I ask, uh, where do you have the funds with you, in your saving account or in your checking account? Either one. I could take it out of either one. All right. And which bank are you banking with, sir? Bank of America. Bank of America. All right, give me a moment. Let me just update this information to the attorney's department for the extension, sir. Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Carlian, looking into your clear intention to resolve this case, uh, let me talk to the attorney's department to help you with the extensions. I want you to hold the line. Do not disconnect this call. Just give me a moment here, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. All right, sir, are you there? Yes. Don Vito, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now, sir. All right. Okay. Now, according to the attorney's department, sir, we have a good news for you. Under Section 716 Restitution Act, you've been given a last chance to resolve this case outside the courthouse under OOCR, which stands for Out of Court Restitution, okay. in which you'll have to verify the funds, all right, Okay. through a government-certified online taxpaying voucher. Basically, it's a voucher which you need to purchase, all right, and you'll have to make the transaction, all right. That means you're verifying the amount online. All right, through a government certified card, which is available in your nearest government certified store. Now, the attorney's department will instruct me with that. All right. Now, before we come to that part, we would like to help you with some important information by the attorney's department. There are guidelines which has been implied in your case. So please listen to the guidelines carefully here. Guideline number one. Can you hear me? Yeah. Don Vito? Yes, I hear you. Guideline number one is that. You're not supposed to bring any third-party interruption over this recorded line, sir. If we found you, you know, creating a dispute over this recorded conversation, we will take that as a flat refusal. Is that understood? Yeah. Now, the second guideline which you need to follow, Don Vito, would be, as long as you investigate it, sir, you're not supposed to relay about this legal confidential information to no third party. 
Well, I might... Just if you violate any of the guidelines applied in the restitution, sir, you'll be charged with penalties and your payment option will be closed directly. Is that I understood? I can't tell Tom Hagen about it. I'm sorry? Tom Hagen, he's my lawyer. Well, sir, if you're not involving your lawyer, that means you've been given a chance to resolve this case outside the courthouse in which you cannot involve your lawyer. If you want to involve your lawyer, then you'll have to drag this case in the courthouse, sir. I, I hope you get the difference here. Okay, I see. I see. Right. If you're not involving your lawyer, that means you're asking the IRS to give you a chance to resolve this case without involving your lawyer outside the courthouse, in which we are helping you, all right, to resolve this matter. But in order to resolve this matter, let me tell you, the option is not giving you, you know, the option is not that simple that we are providing you right now. Okay, you'll have to follow the guidelines accordingly so that we can help you get this case resolved today itself. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. Now, uh, Mr. Don, Don Vito, can you help me with the zip code of your current location, sir? Yep, 35203. All right, give me a moment. Let me just update this information to the County Sheriff Department regarding the extension of your arrest warrant to keep on hold. That means we are helping you with the extensions also we will keep your arrest warrant and hold while you're completing the procedure of the verification here all right well yeah all right sir yes you there yes once again thank you for being online sir okay I appreciate your time and patience and your cooperation here now uh Don Vito, according to the attorney's department, all right, you can resolve this case by going to your nearest government certified store located uh, in 1901 Second Avenue, North Birmingham, Illinois. Oh, no, I'm in Alabama. Huh? Alabama, it's 1910 Second Avenue, North Birmingham. Birmingham, yeah, the city is Bir. Ming him. Okay. Can you tell me how far is this address from where you are? I don't have a clue. There's a mall down that way. Um, I beg your pardon? There's a mall down there. I don't know of any government store. Well, according to the tennis department, they have updated, all right, with the information that the address, all right, which I just provide you, all right, it happened to be a government certified store. It's been certified by the government, all right, where you can verify the amount, all right. And also, according to the tennis department, let me inform you, sir, in this address, all right, there is some limit, all right, and there are some additional charges, all right. So in order to avoid those additional charges, I'm going to tell you what you need to do. But for the, you know, for now, I just want you to get dressed. At the meantime, I'll be helping you with the extension and preparing your documentation to push forward. What the hell am I getting dressed for? I'm sorry? Why am I getting dressed? Because you'll have to head to this address, all right? I thought you said I could do resolved, it online. I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. The online option that I'm providing you, all right, has to go through a procedure here, all right, where you need to follow some protocols implied in your restitution. I cannot just give you the option to resolve that case by sitting at home, all right? That yeah. option of sending check, it's been closed. I'm really sorry because, unfortunately, today is the due date of your case file, as I just mentioned earlier, I believe, and there's a red flag on your identity, as you already know. So it's going to take time for us to, you know, push documentation here, all right? So I just want you to get dressed at the meantime. I'll be having a word with the county sheriff department to put the arrest warrant on hold so that, you know, you can leave from your house and get this case resolved while we're providing you the extensions here. Well, I have to get a hold okay. of... Okay. I have to get a hold of Tassio to give me a ride. Uh, do you have a car? Do you drive, sir? I don't drive. You don't drive? No. Okay. Uh, well, I believe you'll have to take a cab then. You'll have to book a well, cab. I'm not taking a cab when Tessio can drive me. That's what I pay Tessio for. I'm sorry? That's you what pay I pay Tessio for to drive me. Tessio for? Tessio, Tessio is going to drive me. Tessio is going to drive you. Right. That's why I pay and him. Why would I hire a cab when I pay a guy to drive me? Well, if you pay a guy to drive you there... 
Well, you can call your guy and ask him, all right, to take you to that address. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll, yeah, Tessie will take me to pay my taxes. That's what I pay him for. Yeah, so call your guy, all right, and ask him to take you there in that address which I just provided you. Can you do that? Let me call him. And at the same time, make sure you keep the lines open. That means do not disconnect this call. This is a federal conversation. In case if the call gets robbed due to bad reception, we will try calling Tessio. you back. Make sure you answer Wait, the wait phone. I got, Hold it. I got Tessio on the phone. Tessio, get over here and pick me up with the car. Yeah. I got to go pay my taxes. I don't know. Okay. You think? Okay. All right. Get over here. Bye. Okay. Tessio is going to pick me up. Tasia is going to pick you up, right? Right, right. Make sure that you do not disclose about this legal matter to your driver who's Tasia. That's your driver who helps you Yeah. I'm, with yeah. driving. He drops you everywhere I you told, go. I already told him I had to go pay my taxes. Right. Now, you already told him that you're going to pay your taxes, but make sure, apart from this, you don't relay any of the legal guideline or about this case to your driver, okay? This is well, a legal matter, well, Tessio, and I don't want any third-party involvement in Tessio, this case. Tessio, I trust Tessio you. in my life. I trust Tessio in my life. I understand, sir, but you need to understand one thing. What I'm saying is that according to the protocol and guideline, which has been instructed by the attorney's department, you're not authorized to bring any third-party interruption. I understand you trust your driver, okay, but we do not bring any, any sort of third-party interruption at this moment. Is that clear? I trust Tessio. Clemenza, sir? not so much. I'm sorry? I said Tessio's all right. Don't worry about Tessio. He knows how to keep his mouth shut. All right. So, uh, in order to resolve this case, let me tell you, once your driver arrives, all right, to pick you up, you'll have to go to the address which I just provided you. Can you just confirm the address for me, sir? No, I didn't write it down. Sure, please write it down, sir. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'm ready. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Let me help you with the address once again. It's 1910 2nd Avenue North. Birmingham. It's Birmingham. Right. The city is Birmingham. Right. 2nd Ave. What? Well, is there a post office there or something? Where am I going? Where's Tassio taking me? Well, your driver will take you to your nearest certified store, which is the Family Dollar. Do you know any Family Dollar store? Family Dollar? Are you crazy? Why what would I go mean, to the sir? Family Dollar? Sir, listen to me very carefully, all right? Okay. We are not directly accepting your money, sir. All so right? I got to go to Family Dollar? Line. Yes. Listen to me first of all carefully. You'll have to go to your nearest family dollar store for the verification, all right? You'll have to purchase a Google Play card. Oh, Do you understand that, sir? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of, a Google Play you know card. What, sir, do you know what's a Google Play card? I know you, I don't know what it is, but it certainly don't sound like I'm going to pay my taxes with it. Sir, you are verifying, all right? your amount on that online tax paying voucher sir okay where google will verify that information for you now the accounts department and treasury department with the help of google associates they're gonna verify that oh. card with a scanning machine okay, now, now once the scanning let me get this straight google is going to verify my taxes exactly with the google associate all right we're going to verify your taxes and your intention to pay the amount through that card will be verified by the attorney's department and that verification will go to the courthouse to help you resolve this case and terminate the arrest warrant. Women. Okay? Okay, wait a minute. Come on in, Tessio. Do you understand Come that? Come on in. Come on in. Yeah. This guy wants me to go to Family Dollar or get Google cards. <laughs> Don't ask me. This must be something new. Just wait there. Okay, Tessio's here. All right. 
So I want you to get dressed, sir. All right. Once you, you know, once you get inside your car, once you're ready to leave, please notify me about it. Okay. What? Wait a minute. What? What, Tessio? Oh. Tessio said he thinks this is a scam that he saw it in AARP magazine that you're trying to scam me. I'm sorry. Tessio said he said this is a scam. Who the hell is Cassio, sir? Tessio is my friend, my driver. Tessio He's said it's driver, a scam. But like I told you already, sir, I'm not authorized to speak to your brother. This He's is not, not my brother. Case. He's my driver. Tessio said it was a scam. He said taxes you can't pay it with Google cards. Sir. You're not paying your taxes through the Google card. You're just verifying your taxes with the attorney's department through the Google card, and the Google associate is going to help you with that. Google doesn't collect taxes. Even I know that much. Sir, don't you get it? I'm repeating myself here. You are simply verifying the amount through that Google card. You're not directly paying that amount, sir. What tells you? Tells you... <laughs> Tessio said this is a scam. Sir, if, if Cassio think this is a scam, why don't you and your Cassio come to the courthouse and prove that? I don't Can have to do prove that? anything. You have to prove it. I'm going to prove that in the next 30 minutes by you know by sending the, the county sheriff department at your doorstep, sir. No, you won't. You can't. Can you because pass the phone to your goddamn driver, Cassio? Whoever it is, it's pass Tessio, the phone to that guy. Not Cassio, Tessio. Whatever, Tessio. Pass Tessio the phone to Mr. Said Tessio. It, Tessio said it was a pass scam. Pass the phone to Tessio. Huh? Tess, Tessio, you want to talk to, to this guy? Hmm? He said no, he doesn't want to talk to you. Huh. He doesn't want to talk to me now. No, he, why would Tessio want to talk to you? He'd be a third party. You're violating your own rules. No, you just violated the guidelines, sir. You violated the them by one. Wanting... been closed already. No, you, you did. You just involved your Tessio in this case. You wanted to talk now, to Tessio. Sir, you already violated the guidelines, so it doesn't make sense, all right? It makes sense to me because you're a scammer. You're if a you scamming think this bastard. Is a scam, sir. You're a scamming if you bastard. you think this is a scam, I'm going to fuck you up. You, oh, okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> you fucker hung up. <laughs> when the scammers 